artists are no more. We don't need them anymore because now we have a robot that can make art for us. I'm obsessed with this new uh, AI that can just make images. They look photorealistic sometimes, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, basically you type a text prompt in and then it generates an image for you uh, based on what you typed. Now this one called Dolly 2 is not out yet, but it can do a lot of really cool things. But I have some alternatives that are the next best thing. My last video was actually about the alternatives, but I thought, you know, if we can generate some amazing art using artificial intelligence. Why can't I just make a Minecraft texture pack with this? So these images you see right here are uh, of a lemon wearing sunglasses on the beach that I have generated uh, with the two different AIs that we're going to be using today to help create a Minecraft resource pack. As you can see, the quality just isn't there compared to what I just showed you earlier. I mean, we got the lemon, we got the sunglasses, and he's definitely on the beach, but he's, there's some problems with this lemon. He is not normal. So getting started with our Minecraft texture pack, um, pack PNG here, the, the uh, opening thing for any resource pack in Minecraft. We've got a beautiful scenic image of a hill with trees on it, with water at the forefront. So we're gonna ask our AIs here, our two different AIs, image generators which will be linked below to make this scene so we will have to convert this scene into text and see see how it does and if this goes wrong i do have an alternative uh where we can sort of paint and an ai will based off of what we paint create an image let's just see what happens if we do minecraft pack.png just interested it could be cool wow okay well we definitely got like minecraft screenshots going on very interesting it's just minecraft like gameplay screenshots not exactly what we we're looking for scenic hill with trees scattered on it a waterfall and below it a beach and water this is not a very good description of pack png to be a fair let's just see what it can do honestly this is not half bad not bad maybe this might be shockingly good we got like a hill and trees and stuff it doesn't quite look like this so here's my second option this is nvidia canvas beta where i can take all these different materials and draw an image and it will automatically generate it start making our uh mountain that is a cloud. Oh, okay. If I slide this around, we start getting a little bit more of like what we're looking for here. Where is our water? We're definitely going to need some water. Let's just try river. All right, river. Ooh, I'm liking that. Oh, there is one flower right down in the corner here. All right, we got to be careful. Flower. I guess that'll have to do. So we have a forest, not necessarily just a tree. Ooh, that's actually genuinely working. One right here and another little one right here. Pretty good, pretty good. Forgot about the waterfall over here. Okay, that is not working. And for good luck, we'll put some more mountain on the side. Do some more fog on this side. There we go. Now I just gotta throw some clouds in there. The only thing we're really missing now is the pig. We did end up with a pack.png made by an AI, and I just drew it and the AI made it. All right, folks, now it's come down to the textures. Ooh, diamond block would actually be a fun one. Diamond, we have to type texture in because it's, if I type diamond block, it's literally gonna try to generate a whole block. Photorealistic, hyper detailed. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, oh my, this one did not come out very well. Um, Let's see what this one has. Now, if we look here, diamond, it just, it's telling you. This one ain't bad though. I say we take that one. We should also go for some of the basics. Just straight up dirt. Get a dirt texture going. These, ooh, these are a lot better. See, the problem with this AI is it just generates like text all over because it's trained on like stock images. This one has given us some stuff that's not as stock imagey. Mm. Let's re let's rerun this one. Uh, no, it's it's more of the same to be honest. We'll just go with this one. All right, how bad could it look when it's in the Minecraft game? Come on. All right, I think we're gonna need to do a grass block. Let's just try some grass texture here. I've got high hopes. All right. Oh man, this one came out with some good stuff. These are nice. This one's more textury. I think this one's better though. This one's pretty good. We're gonna go with that one. And I guess the grass block top can be uh one of these. Just give them an even fair chance. You know what I'm saying? We also need our stone textures. Can't forget about that. Oh, wow. This is like a cobblestone. This stone is a little bit more freaky. I think this is a really good stone, actually. And now we'll do cobblestone, even though that was a good cobblestone. Wow, all right, so we got cobblestone, but it's all at an angle on this one. And ooh, either this one or this one. This one, I think I like a little bit more, but these are, this one's kind of kicking butt. This AI is very good, I have to say. 
Let's try a little something different. We're gonna try some gold ore. Gold ore texture. This is gonna this is gonna be more of a challenge for the for the AI. We've been doing some simple stuff, common stone, uh, grass. Now gold ore, that that's something different. Oh, okay. Um not looking very promising. To be honest, that is just like actual gold. Let's give the let's give it a chance. We'll do a better prompt. Now these images are a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. I think this one did a better job overall. This one's got some nice texture to it. Maybe we'll just go with that one, to be honest. But it's not, not really gold ore. We'll just do it as our gold ore, whatever. That's what it said it wanted to do. And to follow up with gold ore, we'll do a nice gold block. Wow, that is some just sleek gold ore that. This one really can't, is not doing great with the gold. This one's got the gold down though, I have to say. I'm liking this one, personally. There we go. All right, let's try some hay. This is gonna be another one of the ones where I'm a little skeptical, hay? Can it do it? Can it do hay? Ugh, not looking that great here. Better than nothing. It's a little freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, this one's pretty good. This is a lot better. I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. For sure. All right, guys, we got to get some uh, big ones out of the way for like the trees. Oak tree, oak wood. Okay, the interesting approach to the uh, oak wood. Both of these uh, AIs took an interesting uh, approach here and just gave us like actual wood slab. So we're gonna go ahead and use this for the planks. We'll do we'll add the word bark in there, and I think that is going to. Uh, really change up what we're looking for there we go that's starting to look more like a, a tree although it's a little fuzzy and green and creepy i'm not gonna lie it's freaking me out Ooh. all right this one did a pretty decent job that is just gross looking but this is also gross looking yeah there's only one thing for it we're just gonna take this one this one's a little less gross now leaves in minecraft are uh, see-through basically like you know you can see the individual leaves or whatever see through the leaves in minecraft that's gonna be a problem for us we're not even gonna worry about it it's gonna look gross i'm just just warning you guys oh wow this is a super interesting approach that it took it actually is trying to give us like an outline though this is pretty nice i could try to go in here and cut out the background but this one's pretty nice we could ha all have just big veiny leaves all over our wood that'd be kind of hilarious but this is like this is this is this looks better, but I know this is gonna look better in the game. All right, we're moving on to some sand. We'll do beach sand. Maybe we can get something nice out of that. That is some beach sand, I suppose. And over here we got one with uh, the ocean creeping up. Let's add some shells to this. I want to see some like ocean life with shells. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. It's exactly what I'm looking for. I think this one did a better job. We'll go ahead. We'll go for this one. This one looks pretty good. Let's go for some honey next. I think this could be a very interesting one. Okay, uh, this is disgusting. This one, we literally got the honeycombs going. Given this AI all the chances that it has uh, to make something good. Ooh, this is interesting. I like this over here. This one's kind of gross looking. This is more uniform. I'll stick with this one. Now we're gonna do our final block, which is TNT, and then we'll do some items. This is really interesting right here. This is probably the best one that this one made, I, I would say. Could always do another roll of the dice. And this one completely fell on its face. So this is just giving us like Minecraft related stuff, which is what I thought it would do. Which is not really wrong, necessarily, but I think we're gonna have to just settle for, uh, the default. We have items to generate. Alright, guys, let's just go for it. Diamond sword. And again, items in Minecraft have, like, transparent backgrounds. Oh my god, it knows we want Minecraft. This one gave us some more realistic results. This is the closest thing we've had so far, so we're gonna have to stick with that. Alright, next one is a gold pickaxe. By the way, all these items, I'm gonna have to edit. Uh, so that they're transparent. So the AI is not doing that part. I am. Okay, gold pickaxe. I've noticed this one's getting the items a lot better. Uh, and this is getting close to a pickaxe. We'll give it another run of the dice. Just looking for one where I can see the whole pickaxe. We're getting so close. We're getting so close. I guess this one will have to do. All right, now we've got a cooked chicken. I don't know how to say this. That is not a cooked chicken. That is a live chicken. And this one's even dancing in studio lighting. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with this one. This is, this is a cooked chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll also do an apple. As expected, the AI crushes an apple. And this, this AI is currently... I don't know what it's been doing lately. It started off strong, but now we're getting apple logos. Oh, there we go. All right, now we're getting uh, golf balls, but we're also getting some apples, and they're all green. I'm liking these better. These are just suiting my tastes a little bit better. I'm, I'm specifically liking this one. 
I thought this would be a fun one. We're gonna do the poisonous potato. Let's see it, folks. Hey, these potatoes are not looking very poisonous to me. They just look like potatoes. And these are also not looking that poisonous. I'm gonna be adding the word moldy. All right, throw that in there. That potato is looking a little bit grosser. I'll put with mushrooms growing out of it. Give it, give it a little bit of creativity there. And now we're really starting to see what we're looking for. These are some gross potatoes. And these are still healthy looking potatoes. Again, this AI just ain't cutting it lately. This one is dis disgusting. All right, everyone, we're going to finish up with the OG Holy Grail, the diamond. Type diamond jewel in to try to get something good out of this. Ooh, all right. It's looking like something I would want to mine up. And again, this one's just giving us more textures. And this is giving us something actually like diamond. Let's get it like blue. We'll make it a blue one just so it matches more with OG Minecraft. Ooh, there we go. This is this is a lot better. This is almost like exactly what original Minecraft was kind of going for. But this is more realistic. I'm going to have to go with this one. All right, folks. Let's see how this stuff looks in the game. All right, we've got Minecraft loaded up here, but we can see our pack.png realism over there. It actually looks uh, pretty good. And you can see it loaded up there. Let's load these textures in. All right, so I have it working now. I ended up having to use my other resource pack that was like all vector based, which I was actually genuinely making a resource pack, if you guys remember. Uh, so yeah, the rest of the textures are going to be looking like that, but um, I did put all the AI ones in there. And as you can see, they just, they look delicious. They, they look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you look at grass just from downwards, not looking at the side part, it, it looks absolutely terrifying, honestly, in my opinion. It's very green, though, um, which is interesting, and then the side of it doesn't match at all, because, of course, we use two different AIs, which was, uh, probably wasn't the best thing to do. Um, but, you know, it, it looks like grass, at least. Um, it looks a little fuzzy, a little pattern-esque, and a little gross. Um, the dirt looks like sludge. Um, this literally could just be called the landfill block, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, the dirt did not come out that well, honestly. I it looked a lot better when I generated it. If we go over to the trees, uh, it starts to get a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this wood we generated. Remember how good it looked? Um, it does not look that good. The these black, um, lines here, like the depth or whatever in the image, makes them look... Super weird, super out of place. The leaves, I mean, I guess they aren't that bad, but they're pretty bad. They look very patterned. I guess it uh, I guess it could be worse, though, to be honest. It could be worse. Because if we go over to look at our sand, uh, yeah, that stuff um, is not looking that great. We could definitely tell their shells, at least, which is nice. But, yeah, that did not turn out looking um, its best. There's quite a lot of shells in that sand. And uh, I think you guys can imagine how bad a desert might look when we have all of these different shells here. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of shells. It's okay, because if we go down here and look at the stone, it is uh, it has a bunch of patterns on it, which I guess could be a, a worse thing. Um, but yeah, you can just totally tell where it repeats. And, you know, that's when you make Minecraft textures, you got to account for the repeating. And these look very uh, repeated and video game-like. But honestly, I think the stone texture could have turned, turned out a little bit worse. It doesn't look that bad, really. You know, from far away, it's, it's not so bad. It still looks like a Minecraft world. It's not the end of everything, as we know it. Oh, we did do a gold ore, though. Ooh, that's our gold ore. Honestly, gold ore is not looking too bad. This is one of the ones that turned out a little bit better, I think. It looks all right, stacked together for being generated by an AI. And it definitely doesn't fit with the stone, but it's definitely gold-related. Or, I mean, maybe someone would guess that this is sand if they had no idea what they were looking at here. We've got the hay bale. I forgot that we did this one. Oh, man, the hay bale is looking... Honestly... Not too bad for the hay bale. That could be worse. That could be worse. We took a pretty long shot on the hay bales here. Just kind of sent it. And they don't look too bad. Like, you can see the swirly bale on the top and the side looks like normal hay. So, the hay... Not too bad on the hay, honestly. Cobblestone. This one might be a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. You guys might want to look away. Oh, the dark lines just don't look that great. Oh, and it doesn't repeat well at all. 
Yeah, the cobblestone here is a huge failure. I mean, just for one block, it looks all right, but once you start stacking them... Mm, I mean, from far away, the cobblestone's not bad. That's not bad from far away. But once you start getting up close, you're like... Ooh, those dark lines, man. Not too good. And up close to the regular stone? Eh, it could be worse, could be worse. Here is our block of diamond, which looks very interesting because it's got some bokeh effects or blurred effects as if it was, you know, being taken uh, with the camera, like the photo was being taken by a camera. Um, so it looks really weird. But again, from like far away, that one's not bad at all. You know, you could just tell it's like some sort of stony something. I guess it could be diamonds. Right? Not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. How did our TNT come out at the end of the day? Okay. TNT kind of looks like just a bunch of books. Honestly, I am pretty happy with this one. It feels very, like it has a lot of depth, honestly, uh, when you're playing it here in, in the Minecraft world. So this one did all right, honestly. I think for, for what it had to do, which was TNT, it's kind of a complicated one came out pretty decent our block of gold Ooh, it looks very minimalist but the block of gold is there and you can tell it's shiny and everything so it doesn't repeat very well but from far away it looks pretty shiny we had our oak planks i forgot about this one and the oak planks i mean i guess they're not horrible but uh, they don't repeat very well at all not a very good minecraft texture but they definitely do look like just oak planks, so I'll give I'll give them that. They look like oak planks. And all right, guys. Last but not least, we've got our honeycomb, uh, which looks terrifying. Honestly, it's definitely honeycomb. There's no doubt about that. But it's a scary looking block. It's not some jolly happy fun time block. This is this is a scary scary block. I wouldn't want to fall into those holes or see what comes out of them uh, all in all we got a decent amount of blocks done here and um the ai for being all ai generated honestly it's pretty impressive right at the end of the day okay here's our here's our diamond sword mm, i don't think my cutting worked very well oh god that didn't come out great at all all right this one's might be just a complete failure diamond sword did not come out very well at all our diamond though Diamond looks a lot better. Nice shiny diamond to hold on to. This one's almost usable, maybe. You just gotta clean it up a little bit more. Um, get it nicer. Oh god, the gold pickaxe is bad. Oh man, that is no good. That is that is not the gold pickaxe that we need, guys. That is not, not what we're looking for. Apple came out delectable as anything. Apple came out really good. I already knew this one was going to be good. How about our poisonous potato? Oh, that is just freaking disgusting. And I can eat it too. See all the mold chunks. Eat the apple. Ooh, the apple looks delicious when you're eating it. Poisonous potato, not so much. Kind of disgusting. I think we're missing one other item. Ah, yes, our delicious cooked chicken. Who could forget how good that cooked chicken looks? And it looks good when you're eating it too. So I think the cooked chicken was definitely a success. In general, can you use an AI to make a Minecraft texture pack? I mean, technically, yes. I think people would understand at least what you're trying to make. Although uh, the repeating textures and everything um, do not come out the best. And especially the items it has a lot of trouble with, maybe as uh, this technology gets better in the future, we could see some fully generated AI Minecraft texture packs. I really like how pack PNG came out. I think it came out really well. But yeah, some, some of the stuff is pretty bad with the AI generation. So yeah, guys, uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Did you like the video? This was just a fun little thing I wanted to do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.